fix this sooner than later. But here we go. I've got a project set up here. We'll just do a new one. We're going to call this import. And then the version of Unity I'm going to use here is going to be 2018.1. Because I know that's just before they introduced the new prefab system. All right, here we go. Brand new project. First thing we do is bring this plugin in. So I'm going to use the menu to do it. Assets, import package, custom package. There's the package on the desktop. And that'll install the Marquette package. Import. Marquette? 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Go ahead and put it in the comments if you know. Maybe a link to one of those YouTube videos that like pronounces the word for you. That'd be cool. All right. Here we are, package is installed. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is that there's no council errors. If you did this in 2018.2 plus, you'd get warnings. If you see the warnings, beware. But since we have no warnings, we're looking good. All right, so step two is to take that FBX file that was exported, which is here, and bring that right on into Unity here. So what the plugin has done is, uh, here's the original FBX file but it went ahead and created a prefab version of it. So we can drag and drop that into the scene here. Now what we're gonna notice is the default block, at least from the default orientation, in comparison to a Unity block, is a little bit small. So just keep that in mind in terms of scale. But we can see that <clears throat> our materials here, it kind of puts it into a nice hierarchy of these objects. And that all works pretty good. So I'm gonna show you just one other tip here. Uh, to make this flow a little bit more seamless. So for example, if we go back into Marquette now and uh, we wanna update this, we're gonna export or save over the current FBX file so we can continue to drag and drop like this. I'll just show this flow a little bit here. All right, back into it. So let's see, pop up the screen here for you. There we go, you should be able to see what I see. All right, so we've got this one block, but one block can easily become two blocks to 10 blocks. With this program is really nice for prototyping. Um, and I use Oculus Medium quite a bit, and I can see uses for both of these things working together. So let's say this is our new design. We'll even come in here and color a few things differently just to really bring it home. There we go. All right, so the same process exists here. You don't have to save the scene again. I save it because I think it helps the naming, but uh, from this point, you just have to select everything again. So under the selection tool, there's the plus to select everything. In the case, this works out nicely here. I'll go to export. And we're going to keep the exact same file name and export to FBX. So the export's finished. OK, it popped up the same window again, the same file name. So we'll go back to Unity. And then we will replace this file here. Have a look at what happens here. We've got this new test scene down here. Oh, sorry guys, this is actually, um, yeah, that's correct. Okay, there we go. That's the general flow. You just keep dragging things in and they show up here. So what's a little funky is uh, you come in here and see I have all these projects. I find it's easier just to, uh, if you wanna just mess around with this, to keep the FBX folder in sync with Unity. So you don't have to continuously drag and drop these things in. You could write a quick script to do this. Um, for example, I have another project which uses this script. Let me go ahead and load that up real quick. And then we'll go over that. This import package here. Uh, yeah, here's our script. So I'm going to take this script and copy it over here. I'm going to create an FBX folder. FBX. And I'll drink, drink, drag this. Sorry, guys. It's like 8 in the morning here, 845. I'm still not woken up yet. <laughs> so we've got an FBX folder. Now let's have a look at what this does before we double click it and get right into it. So we're going to, um, we'll show this in Finder. Excuse me, Explorer. And then we'll go to Edit. So it's pretty much a VAT file. So it's gonna do X copy. It's X copying the FBX folder for Marquette 
which is located at this path here, users, documents, Marquette exports, FTX. And then it's gonna take that and copy it on into my Unity project folder. So in this case, we have um, a different name. So I'm just gonna change this name here to the proper name, which is mar import. And then these uh, flags over here basically say like overwrite it and don't tell me about it when you do that. So I don't have to press accept every time. All right, so with that in place, we'll close it. And I'm just gonna run it from here. And you can see in that flash, it went in, grabbed all the FBXs from the Marquette folder and is dragging them into this FBX folder here. This is gonna make syncing a lot faster to just experiment and play around with stuff. So you don't have to keep dragging windows all the time. So that played out pretty quick. All right, so there's two more things I wanna show you here. Thing number one with all this is let's go ahead and clear out the scene completely. And then we're gonna drag in, uh, we'll take really anything work for an example here. So I wanna show you what happens if you create something and export it, and then go back, change it, and re-export it again. We'll create that scenario. We'll say you're doing iterative updates here. So I'm gonna go back into Marquette for this. All right, here we are, back in Marquette. Looking good. I'm gonna create a new scene just for this. So we'll go to here. We'll go to new. We're gonna discard all the changes. And we're gonna make it real obvious too. We're gonna to combine two lessons in one here just to keep it quick. So one of the coolest things about uh, Marquette, I think, is that you can hook into Google Poly and you can use some of this stuff here. So I, you can grab this really cool soda machine you know, do something with it. But the thing to note is that if you were to take this as it is with all the textures, it's not gonna make it to Unity. It doesn't work that way. I don't know why, but it doesn't. However, you click this editable box, converts it into, well, at least an object without materials. This will make it to Unity. So if you do that, it's fine. So we'll take that, and then we'll uh, go ahead and add one more object to this, just a plain, Marquette's sphere. And that's going to be our export. So kind of the similar process as last time. I'm going to I'm going to save this first. And we're going to save this as uh, export so we can find it. Export saved. And then we'll come in here. We're going to select everything. We'll click export. And this is going to save as export scene 0. So let's do that now and back to the desktop. Alrighty. Here we go, back at the desktop. There's the scene we just created. So now, instead of dragging and dropping things, we're gonna just run the sync script again. Sometimes you have to click off of Unity and click back onto it to get it to go. I don't know why, but it works. So here's our export scene. This is what we just created. Here's the FBX that was generated. Um, by the export process, and then this is the prefab that the plugin, this Marquette plugin, puts together for us. So we can drag and drop in the hierarchy and see what we get. So looking pretty good so far. Now let's change this inside of Marquette. So here we go again with the shuffle. Alrighty. So now let's say our soda machine here uh, actually needs a couple more items in the scene. So this would look better if it uh, was over elsewhere. So we're gonna unselect everything. I'm gonna move this up here, and then let's recolor that just to give it some contrast. You know, let's make that red. And then uh, let's add one more object into the scene here. So I'll come in here, I'm gonna go to Google Poly, and then I use this book, and we've got an edit mode so that it makes it. If it's not on edit mode, <clears throat> it won't show up in Unity. It just kind of omits it. So I'll add that book here. All right, that's the new scene. So I'll come over here to grouping. I'm going to select everything. So we've got all the objects, and I'm going to press export. I'm going to keep the scene name exactly the same. Now, you could rename it, but something I've noticed is that if you rename it, every time you go to export it again, you have to rename the thing again. So either use a short name <laughs> or don't rename it to keep it nice and easy for export. Okay, we're back over here. <clears throat> it's generated the file again. We're gonna go back to Unity. And then normally you could either drag and drop your file at this point to update it, 
or I'm just gonna run the sync script again to do it for me. That went in, it's copying it. And we click back into here, you'll see this updates. Now, the thing to notice is that the way Marquette seems to work is that it's gonna delete the prefab that it had previously created. And that's why this association is broke here, it's missing and it recreates the thing again. So if we go back to our export folder, excuse me, we can see that this did in fact update nicely. However, it does create a brand new prefab. So that's something to watch out for. Um, it would be cool if it could maintain the association to the prefab somehow. Uh, I'm not sure how that works in the background, but you know, just as a user, if I was just making wishes here, the, if it could update the current prefab, that would be awesome. But it's not a huge deal at this point. You can just delete the other one, remove this back into position. And then there you go, you've got this prefab good to go. So that's generally how to uh, move objects using the import feature. There's also this up here too, where you can regenerate the market prefab if you select it. So you could click here, regenerate the prefab from FBX, excuse me, you gotta click on the FBX and then regenerate here. So, I mean, now we just lost the material for it. I think it's because it created a brand new one again. So if we were to drag that, yeah, so that, that seems to work. So it's a little destructive when it comes to the prefabs. You have to be careful with that. But generally that's the flow of how you get something from Marquette into Unity using that export process. Um, keep an eye on this. I think this is gonna evolve pretty rapidly now that they've come into open beta. Um, like I said, I've reported on the forums, they're aware of the issue as far as the new versions of Unity go. So we're gonna see what they do when it comes to integrating the new prefab system with Marquette. But I'm, I'm really excited about this Marquette workflow of being able to prototype and then bring it into Unity, <clears throat> especially at scale. I'm working with designers and people that work in um, Medium. So we can bring stuff from Medium into Marquette, kind of plan out the spacing in it and then bring it into Unity and then start working on it. So pretty excited with this whole thing overall. Hey, I hope this is helpful to you. Um, and leave it in the comments if you have any more questions about it. I'll try to make another video as this stuff evolves. Um, I can see myself using Marquette a lot more for my games in VR development. So stay tuned. All right, thanks a lot. Peace.